Cartoon animation is a type of animation where each frame is drawn by hand. It is said to give life to drawings as it gives action to static objects. From a simple advancement of technology in filming, animation soon developed into its own category, leading to numerous versions of it, such as cartoon animation. Although the simple element of cartoon animation is hand-drawn, it is true how the animator puts their own self into it that they become an art. Although the first animated film is said to be in France, Philippines soon adapted this art into their own. The earliest known form of cartoon animation is said to begin with the publication of a local comic book called Pabalbalani Kenkoi or Kenkoi Antics during the late 1920s. This comic was written by Romualdo Ramos and illustrated by Tony Velasquez in 1929. Kenkoi is described as a ludicrous portrait of the Filipino pathetically trying but barely succeeding in keeping up with his American mentors. The influence of Kenkoi is said to give birth to regional Filipino language vocabularies such as Barok, Cheproks, and Pinoy. Perhaps this is also why some call cartoons as Kenkoi. Uh, this is the first compilation of Kenkoi strips, a compilation of the very first strips of uh, Kenkoi. It's so from the very beginning it's this is this so the the very very first it's january 11 1929 it is that old it's so <laughs> incredible i also i even saw a picture on facebook that this unfortunately due to world war ii there is no progress in cartoon animation in the next following decades which is from 1930s to 1940s Finally, by the 1950s, with a sponsor of Curico Oil for the commercial, the first ever six-minute short Filipino cartoon animation was born. Illustrated by Romeo Tabuena, the Filipino popular story One Tamad or Lazy Chan emerged. Unfortunately, not much footage of it survives this day. However, here is a remade version of the story One Tamad. Sandali lang po, Nay. Babagsak na yung biyaya, oh. Huh? By the 1960s, animation classes were more focused on creating on some pieces. It was only in the late 1970s did cartoon animation flourish further with Nonoy Marcelo's Tadhana or Destiny. It is said to be possibly the first ever full-length animated piece made in the Philippines. It was claimed to be written by Ferdinand Marcos and produced by his eldest daughter, Aimee. The film was broadcast on September 21, 1978, the sixth anniversary of the declaration of martial law. It was supposed to be replayed and even have a commercial theater release. However, it was only broadcast once and never to be seen again. Only a few clips survive to this day. From the remaining clips, we can see that the depiction of human form at this time is a bit robust, with a darker color theme and less detail. The animation is a bit awkward with a combination of cartoon animation and real-life images. As the 1980s arise, televised cartoon animation began. The first Filipino-made cartoon for television was Ang Panday or The Blacksmith in the 1980s. This Filipino action fantasy series was based on a comic of the same name written by Carla J. Caparas and illustrated by Steve Gunn 
It was considered as a golden age for cartoon animation in the Philippines as the series hit and later on gave rise to more kinds of artworks. The animations at this time were less awkward and more flashes to entice views. The adventure continues this week in Ang Panday. <laughs> Mid-90s came, a charcoal portrait artist named Chur A. Garcia continued to spread out the idea of having Filipino-made animation. He was considered as the pioneer of Filipino animation industry that brought to life the 1995-1997's cartoon animation of Ibong Adarna or the Adarna Bird. The creation later received recognition from the Metro Manila Film Festival on December 27, 1997 as the first animated movie in Philippine cinema. In 1998, it was also included in the Asian collection of Japan's 7th Hiroshima Animation Festival. Other famous stories also soon had their own animation like Noli Matanghere. Along with this, original cartoon animations prospered. These animations usually challenge the animation styles, thus leading to numerous different art styles being used. In the 2000s, technological advancements such as Adobe After Effects and Adobe Flash played a huge role in producing clever and awesome cartoon animations. Numerous Filipino animations were created. Unfortunately, due to most Filipinos favoring foreign cartoon animation rather than the locally made, Filipino animators soon had to give up on the cartoon animation market in the Philippines. The nail in this coffin was with the unsuccessful sale of RPG Metanoia, the first full-length Philippine animation film in 3D. However, with the creation of YouTube, so did independent cartoon animation and easily accessible animation arise. Although Filipino animation was reaching its lowest peak, the Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporation, or ACPI, remains persistent and created an animation festival to feature animated works called Animahe Nation. Thus, by 2009, it is in this Animahe Nation festival that we find our so far first known cartoon animation to be created by a Zambongenya, Jervin Yap, entitled What Sinango. This is a three minute clip featuring some of Zambongenya's tourist spots. Instead of realistic drawings of a human, they were in chibi form and use sounds that can be easily found online. The art of the animation was much simpler but clearer and less awkward than its previous counterparts. In 2010s, many schools and universities in the city, particularly at the Neo de Zamboanga University, were already offering animation subjects and courses that eventually led students to produce cartoon animation pieces for school projects. Although merely school projects, the animation was much more developed compared to the older animation. Animation varies depending on the software and style of the student. The only similarities they have is that they are usually with no voice. However, the soundtrack used are usually creatively made by the animators to further feel the impact of their animation. This animation development was further improved 
by the government funding contests such as Zamboanga Film Festival Animation category. Septiembre, Matrucata, Panateros y Papa. Entonces, tasélele temprano en la casa. Toy de yo en el primero con el mi nana. Toy de yo que el antes. Tal acá en el mercado. Piensa la guay en el yo. Después, yo dormí en el manquil él. Sapi yo. Pena ya lang, ya le casi papa. Uli yo ya mira con mi nana, junto le na maga gente de blanco, no hay le conmigo lleva. Si papa, firme y triste, seguro que se lo voy a engañar siempre. As the year 2020 entered, students could not make cartoon animations due to limited equipment as they usually needed university equipment to make excellent quality animation and guidance from their teacher, which is unfortunately hard with online classes. Thus, cartoon animations froze. <laughs> 